Welcome back to the Kushka channel. This will be another episode of the Camper Hack series. Today, we're going to be reviewing this Seaflow water pump and this Enchant single valve faucet. But first, we got to install this. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're working with here before I actually do the installation. This is being installed in my camper, so simplicity is important. Price is important because I'm not going to break the bank to uh, build my camper. And also reliability is also important and how loud these water pumps are very important. I picked the Seaflow here. It got outstanding reviews on Amazon and you can get this with free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. It is a quiet-ish pump. It's, it didn't get reviews as being super loud. It also runs fairly cool compared to other ones, and that's also important. And I didn't break the bank purchasing this. I won't give you the price right now just because, you know, depending on when you watch this, the price could be more expensive or less expensive. You just never know. But I can tell you it was reasonable. Uh, this is a Seaflow professional grade pump. It's the 21 series and it's, uh, it draws 1.7 amps with a max amp of 4 amps. It has a presetting of 35 PSI and will open flow at 4.3 liters per minute or 1.2 gallons per minute. And this is a uh, pressure sensor um, activated pump. So when you open up that faucet valve, it'll activate this pump so you can leave it plugged in full time. Uh, installation is going to be super, super easy. It's got these 3 8 in and out and then a positive and negative. And that's it guys, that's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna mount this under the sink, plug it in. Um, I got some uh, hose sitting around here somewhere that I'll use. Oh yeah, I'll couple together some hose to fit with a faucet. And this faucet, I really like this faucet because it's also a reasonable price. Uh, super easy installation, as you can see, you just put it in there bolted in place and Bob's your uncle it's done I chose this one for its simplicity it's just an on and an off and I really like that you can bend this around and it has a nice height so even though my sink is super shallow I can still wash pots and pans relatively easy and because this is like a big old flexible gooseneck I can flip it around to my window which is kind of like this I'll show I'll swip, flip you around here in a minute and show you but I can flip this out my window turn the water on I can take a shower if I want to so that's kind of cool. And also, oh, third thing, third thing. This is gonna complete it. You can pick whatever water tank you want. I picked a big old seven gallon water tank for my, uh, my camper. And then I drilled out the air hole and that's what I'm gonna feed into it to take uh, for water. And I chose this over the stock container because the stock container was just super flat and you couldn't remove it. So you had to fill it from outside. Usually when you're filling up from outside, using hose will Oop, excuse me, using hose water. And who wants to drink hose water? That shit's disgusting. Um, I've, I've had to drink that before. You know, it's fine when you're a kid and you're running around outside and you need to cool off, so you just drink some hose water, but it tastes really disgusting in your coffee. And when you gotta drink it for months on end, it just, it's no bueno. So we're gonna make it simple. Use this big old seven gallon jug that I can remove and fill. And then if I ever wanna just take it out and use it for like, exterior uses it's also pretty easy because it's got the uh valve on the inside that you can just put on the outside if you want to by just spinning it like that open it back up super easy so I'm not going to bore you with the installation because there's not too much to see, but let me go ahead and show you what I'm working with and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, here's our working space. Here's our little sink. I got that pre-drilled. So this will just sit just like that and I'll be able to wash all my dishes super, super easy. For those of you who are fans of the Camper Hack series, you'll notice that I did a little update here. We are making some progress. So I broke the original P-trap 
not only did I break the original P-trap, but when I created this frame, I made it just a smidge too high, and it also kicked uh, because these walls are a little thicker than they were before. It shifted everything this way, and so I cobbled together a new P-trap uh, just with some some piping and some rubber adapters. Nothing's in there tight right now. I just got it loosely placed in there, but. It, just wanted to make sure that I can fit everything, so I had to mock it all up. But essentially, this is what we're going to be working with. This is going to be in here. Pump's going to sit something like this, and uh, we'll run some tubes. You know, I might flip this container around. I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure that out, and I'll show you when I'm done. And then as soon as that's all plumbed in, then I'll go ahead and secure this countertop to the frame. And then I'll go ahead and skin uh, this cabinet here. And we will be good to go. All right. I'll check back in with you here in a few minutes. All right, we got her all figured out, guys. It's been a few days uh, as soon as I started hooking things up. Every part that I reused in this camper was complete shite and it was leaking or spraying water as soon as, as soon as it was pressurized. And I'll be damned to finding a half inch female to a 3 8 barb, which is not this piece, I got it installed, I'll show you in a second. Could not find one in this freaking town, so I had to cobble something together that works for my purposes, a little bit more expensive than I'd like it to be, but that's life. So, let me show you what I got. Right, so here is the faucet. Works. This thing bends around. I can throw it out my window and hose off if I want to, wash my hair, do whatever I want to. This is my seven gallon tank. And I got all this stuff off Amazon. Got the Enchant Faucet, the, what is this? Reliance 7 gallon jug, and the Seaflow 21 series pump. And here are the adapters that I was having a difficult time finding. I think it's common enough that the bins are always empty because that's a 3 8 off of the water pump up to a half inch on the faucet, which is pretty standard. We'll check this out. Reused an old CV axle nut. Uh, this summer my um, CV axle broke, the nut flew off, and uh, I was I was in Prince of Wales and where there was not a CV nut that I, on the island whatsoever that I had access to, so I had to hop on the ferry and on my way back up I picked one up. I snagged this for my buddy, and uh, now I'm just gonna keep it around with me. It fits perfect in here as my little holder. So this way, if I ever lose the nut or break another thing, break another CV axle, or otherwise end up in that situation, I'll have a spare on hand. But as you see here, the pump works great. This pump is pressure activated, so there's no on or off switch. As soon as the pressure opens up, you get water. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it's Kind of loud, but you know, not terribly loud. I'm, I've had other campers with water pumps and it doesn't seem too much different. And after I wall this off a bit, should make it a little bit more quiet. So anyways, just wanted to show you everything works. So happy. All right, guys, so. I think that's going to conclude this video. Just wanted to show you, you know, what that Seaflow water pump looks like, how it works. Uh, it's pretty easy installation. Seems like good quality. Uh, doesn't leak or anything. Um, it's holding together just fine. That Enchant sink is also holding together just fine. I like it. It's nice and easy to use. It does exactly what I want it to do. I really like the bendy neck. So when I'm washing big dishes in the sink, that'll come in handy. Uh, this big old seven gallon jug works as designed and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so if you were ever considering buying those things or you were looking for something similar just wanted to find some reviews see what other people think about it well there you have it hope it helped you hope you found it somewhat entertaining thanks for sticking around this long I'm gonna go ahead and end this video by posting a link here or here 
to another video on the Camper Hack series so you can check out this build and how it's progressed over the past couple of years. And then I'm gonna let YouTube pick a video that they think is best for you from my channel. We'll see how that works out and I'll see you over there.